I know, made a big mistake yesterday. Oh, by the way, today's Friday, November 29, 2024, and it's uh, past 11.30 a.m. And it's a cold one today. It's a cold one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, it's cold today. But I thought I'd be able to relax today because I fed hay yesterday and I didn't was planning on doing anything today, even with the sun shining, but I knew it was going to be cold. But that plan changed today because my mistake is I left that gate open down there yesterday after I moved the bales out, uh, or after I set that bale down here below me. I just finished closing it now, but then I realized cattle aren't, aren't in my pasture. But I know where they are, which is the problem. <sighs> Plenty of hay, but they're over there on the other side of the fence in the shadows of the tree over there. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint with this. They're right about there. I can see them in the shadows. Oh, but, well, I gotta get dressed first. For, I'm going to try something. I'm going to get a bucket of corn. I know where they are. At least I know where three of them are. I don't see the white one. I don't see the white one anywhere. Oh, wait. There's a white one up there, but that might be the shed, the debris shed. That's probably the white one. He's higher up. I can see a white spot. But if I can get up there, I can turn the fence off and push put those fences down and put some corn on, on top of the inside the fence on piles they might cross the fence if I can lower the fence down to the ground and let them walk over it <sighs> at least I know where they are all right that's uh I guess I couldn't figure out how I could chase them back in around but that's too uh that's too hard I'm gonna try the easy way first Oh, it's too cold out here. I got to get in. Oh, I didn't dress. I just came out to check the check the hay bale, but I uh, found this. Yeah, there's a white one. So they're all there. Okay, I got to get dressed and get busy before they go anywhere else. I almost forgot. Before I do anything, I'm going to check the battery voltage today. Is that 11.2? Okay, 11.2. All right, that's enough. Well, it's only 30 degrees at 11.45 a.m. And it's a sunny day too, but it's not warming much up much today. Uh, and the wind, the wind is brutal too from the north. Cold. Okay, I got some cattle to get in. I gotta get going. Uh, uh oh, the best laid plans of mice and men often go astray, and I went astray. I left the gate open, I can't believe it, but I've done it before. <laughs> All right, let's deal with the aftermath. Let's get the cattle back in. Uh, well, 12 noon, and uh, I'm all warming my winter coat, and uh. Come out to, I got some corn in a bucket, in a couple buckets, and I'm gonna go out to where the cows are and see if I can lower the fence. I already turned the fence off. And to see if I can get them to cross the fence if it's on the ground. Put some corn as a bait to lower them back in without chasing them. And uh, as soon as I came out the door <laughs> up here, <laughs> uh, there's no buckets. I, Got them half full of corn. That's my bait to lure them back in. I guess what they left me. They left me a present up here. So I know they were up here too. Okay, let's uh, head on out there and uh, see if I can get them in, come back in. First things first. Well, like I said, 12 noon. Wind blowing in from the northwest, which is 
that direction coming in that way oh it's cold and of course I have to stop catch my breath oh. and uh, of course say hi to my shadow hi shadow oh. we got a job to do anyway today yeah resulting from my mistake yesterday of not closing there's the gate Yeah, I closed it just a few minutes ago, but I got to open it back up to get through. I got to get these cattle back in where they belong. Yeah, this is good. I left open yesterday. I was too lazy to stop the tractor here and get off the tractor and close it. I drove the tractor all through here and all the way up to the parking area. <sighs> then I just forgot to come back to close it. And look what it did for me. The cattle somehow got out, well not somehow, <laughs> it came out through the gate. <laughs> of course, they came out through the gate, probably went around there. I don't know how far they went, but somehow they came around the other side there and ended up in the trees. Anyway, there's a white one right there. Anyway, I know where they are, close to the fence, so I'm going to see if I can get them to go over the fence or after I drop it on the ground. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to leave this gate open. Yeah, in case I have to chase him back anyway. Well, there's Whitey. Yeah, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that they didn't go very far and I could still find them quickly without driving around the neighborhood. At least they're close to the fence. So let me see if I can put some corn out here and lower the fence and see if they'll come back in. I hope so. Well, there they are. I think they want to come back in, they just don't know how. They can't figure out that they got to go back around to the gate. But I think the corn will get them, I hope. Well, working for these three. Now I can't find a white one. Oh my. I got the fence lowered. That post and post by the oh, oh there's Whitey. Once they go through, maybe he'll come through. Just that the way I had to put some corn near the fence, otherwise I wouldn't go through it. But I got some more corn out here. I still got some in that green bucket. So if I need to dump some more, I can. I'll just wait and see what they do. Yeah. Look. She found the piles of corn out here. And there. They're eating the corn that I laid by the fence. Yeah. Fence. Fence is down here, so they don't even see it. So that's good. Uh, I just got to get them to go across. If I have to dump out some more corn, I will. He's going to be the tricky one, though. But once these other ones go in, maybe, maybe he'll follow. I hope so. At least I got one of them all the way through. The other one's halfway across. And uh, the old mama cow, she's hanging back for some reason. I thought she'd be the first one through. She's supposed to be the dominant one out here. The little bullet, he's waiting for them other ones. Yeah, he, he's not going to push them through. Come on, Kyle. Come on through and get with the other one here. Yeah, no, okay, now she's thinking about it. She probably suspects a trap, but I'm only letting you back in where you belong. All right. I'll come back to you later. Well, I won't come back. I won't leave, but... Okay. Do what you got to do, Kyle. If I have to, I can always bring some more corn. And I have to keep the corn on this, right, right in this area, down from that opening on the gate, uh, on the fence. That's the only fence I lowered right there. So I'm going to make sure the corn stays in this area. Yeah. I hope it works. At least I got to start. 
Well, two of them are across the fence. But the mama cow and the white one over there, they haven't even tried to come across yet. We'll see, maybe I'm too close. Okay, mama cow came out. That's good. I got some more corn over there and over here. No more over there and over here. So I wanted to move down this hill slowly. And I left the buckets here too. To, there's a little bit left in that green bucket, but not much. The only one I gotta skip through yet is the white one. But he's too busy scratching himself on a tree. Uh, he doesn't seem too interested. I guess he hadn't had much corn in his life except when except when he was in the corral up there on the big pasture. All these little bullies headed in the right direction. You just have to wait for him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Corn, there's still some corn by the fence, crumbs. And if he's smart, he'll go through. Then I can raise the fence up and uh, he's smelling the corn right now. So that's good. Let him nibble on the corn, fence is off. Fences on the ground, mostly. There's, I can see it wiggling there, right near the cover, but I'm sure he'll go over that. Yeah, she's, she went down to that pile of corn. There's still one more down here, if they see it. Yeah. Okay. She went back up the hill. She went back up to the other, other pile. He's there at the fence, so uh, it's just a little bit farther if he comes through. But he, he won't be able to get in here, in here to eat, so I'll put his corn somewhere else. Yeah, although wherever I put corn, the other ones will want to eat it before. The, before he gets to it. Yeah, he's he's right there. Hopefully he'll come with the rest of them. When he's done up when he's done eating that, maybe he'll venture out here toward me since I got the bucket. I don't know what the bucket would mean for him, but At least he's almost across. As long as he don't go back, I'm gonna go across the fence and see if I can chase him through. I'm in the trees and looks like he's across the fence. So I'm gonna raise the fence up now, but even though it's not on, I think they'll respect it. And they got corn, you see? I poured another pile there for him and he's taking the bait. So now I gotta raise the fence up. So I got him in, now I got to keep him in. Put, the, put that fence up there before they go across again. Ah, got the kettle in. Ah, just with some corn on the ground. Yeah, that lowered him in. And uh, I put the fence back up. I even tightened the bottom wire because it was loose. Ah, ah. That's good. I gotta go back, close the gate, and turn the fence back on. Ah, the fence controller is plugged in inside the barn, so. Ah, okay. That's a relief. Knowing they got back in. And it was the easy way, too. Yeah, I used my, I used their love of corn to get them in. Now I'm on the other side of the fence, where they were. At least they didn't go very far. I'm glad about that. I'm really glad they didn't go very far. And that they were easy to get back in. Okay. 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 One more angle. Yeah. I'm glad I got back. 
And there's plenty of hay down there. Why they got out, I don't know. How they got out, because the gate was open. Why not? They used to go on out that gate over there by the house. So they just figured, oh, that's just another pasture that I let them into. Yeah. I'm just glad they got back in. Well, too much effort on my part. Yeah. If I would use some extra effort yesterday to close that gate, I would have had to do what I did today. It's not their fault, it's my fault. Uh, I can only blame myself. But at least there now. Okay, let's go back. Close the gate by the road and then turn the fence back on. Yeah, you were probably the first one to get out. What do you got, cockleburs? Yeah, he's got cockleburs on his face. He's eating leaves. And he's got some on his leg over there, yeah. Plenty on his leg. See what he gets through here. All right, we're at where they started from. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad I got him in. Oh. First thing I thought about was when I saw that gate open over there, it's still open over there. I left it open because I thought I might have to chase him around to that gate and get him back in. But luckily a little corn did the trick. Anyway, what I was thinking when I saw that gate open, I realized the kettle got out. I said, I'm gonna have to drive around and look for him. We've done that before when I had other cattle here. When we first moved them here. Oh, a deer just ran across. That field over there. I'll see if I can see it up on top. Cattle are over there somewhere. Not sure. I can't see them from here. But they're back there somewhere. Well, I came over here because I in the, in the other field, cornfield over there, I saw a deer running. I don't know where he went. He probably went to hide in that grass there. Yeah, there's no hunting today, so, so he's probably, something must have scared him up, and I'm sure he's hiding in that grass there. This is, there's the road over that way. Uh, battery's low again. That's the road. Intersection's down there. Shed. He's got a pond there too. And I noticed this a little while back on the road. Uh, this, over the summer they had some red flags over here. So I think they're going to do something there. Either that or they just stop letting the let, uh, farmer, uh, whoever's renting it, uh, to uh, farm that. But they had some red flags there. So I think they're going to build something there. Uh, I'm not sure what. Time will tell. Because they got a pond right there. So I don't know. They, who knows what they're going to do? That's their business. Not mine. I get, my business is keeping these cattle in in their pasture. So let me uh, go back to doing that. Still didn't see that deer. So I'm guessing he's in that thing. He's going to wait until evening and start moving again. Okay. Let's go back to the cattle. Well, it's 1 p.m. now, and <laughs> uh, the white white bull is behind that cow. Yeah, by the time I got back to the fence up there, uh, they all left. They were halfway up this hill by the time I came out of those woods across the fence. Uh, and then my battery battery went down, and it was too cold. Phone just shut off again. Got to keep phone warm and a charge up. I got it up charging right now while I'm using it. Yeah, that's where they were out over there by that cedar tree. I think it's just this side of the cedar tree. It's just left of that cedar tree is where the, I got them to go back in with some corn. Uh, they were hanging out in those woods there, but I guess I should be glad that they didn't go very far. And I was still able to get them in with little effort. Okay. 
they're back where they belong and I think they come up here because it's less windy up here yeah they got all this grass to eat all this grass to eat and all that hay down there I got a new bale set out and they, they still want to get out of course leaving that gate open is a pretty good incentive to get out <laughs> oh well maybe someday I'll learn my lesson but I gotta go back in and warm up and recharge this battery and warm up the phone too besides warming myself up okay let's go back yeah, a little windy on this side a little windy and there's the hay bale down there plus the one from last week still plenty of hay there too and that's where they were right in there that's where they came out right there or came back in they got out they got out through an open gate that I left open yesterday over there by the road that was my fault but they went, ended up over there out of the wind that's good and uh, now they're back up here I don't know what they're waiting for I think they're trying to stay out of the wind a little bit all right I'm gonna head back to the house catch you later oh, I'm just glad I got the cattle back in where they belong uh, I didn't go about their business of eating hay and eating grass Oh, you can see it windy. Yeah, it's windy on that pond. You can see the wave going in from mostly west now. Uh, well, I brought the tester with me. I'm gonna, if I turn the fence back on, I want to test both sides of that fence. On both sides of that gate, I mean. So make sure the fence is working. Oh. Uh, Check the fence for power on both sides of the gate, and both sides are working strong. Okay, that's all. Yeah, fence is working good, and now the cattle are back in over that way. White bulls over there, too. They're all together, all four of them. I don't know how long they were out over there. Yeah, the fence is working and the fence is back up, so I don't expect them to get out again. They got out through that gate down there, which I already closed. I'm going to go take a look at it, make sure. Yeah, everything's back to normal after a little excitement this morning and this afternoon. It uh, was a little bit of a shock to me. Once I realized the cattle were had escaped through my own fault. Uh, I closed the gate uh, I left open yesterday. Uh, that was my my failure is what caused them to escape the pasture, and but I was able to get them back in with corn up there on top of that hill, lower defense and. Put some corn on the ground and it came right in. Slowly but surely. All right. I gotta go charge this phone back up. It's not charging very good. It's too cold, I guess. Oh, the sunshine makes it up here to be warm. But I can tell you, it's cold. I'd be surprised if it's above 32. Yeah, the wind's blowing pretty strong from the west or northwest and it's cold and our battery's getting low and the phone's getting cold and I'm cold and I'm going back in the warm house oh the sunshine does feel good on the part that it's shining on but then the wind wind is blowing at my back so uh, now it's cold sun's warm but the wind's colder I was right, it's only 32 degrees. 
didn't warm up much and it's ready after 1 p.m. so this is about as warm as it's going to get today I think all right I'll catch you later I might come out later I might drive down to the big pasture to see how they did on their hay uh, at least I'll be warm in the truck well it's close to 4 o'clock p.m. now and the uh, sun's getting low going to be sitting in about 45 minutes oh look at that cat I think he caught something or well, maybe not thought I saw something in his mouth anyway there's a gray heron over there oh, there it goes yeah there it goes coming back around here there it goes Like it land, looked like it landed in my pond on the other side of the house. Anyway, I'm gonna head out to the big pasture and check the hay that I fed yesterday. I'll be in the truck, so I'll stay warm. It's still only 32 degrees, didn't and didn't go up much today at all today. Yeah, and uh, the white bulls down there. There's one there and one there. The other one is over there. Went back to where the corn was, and she's cleaning up that corn that was left from when I coped from when I got them, uh, lowered them back in with the corn. So she's cleaning that up. Anyway, I'm going to head out to the big patch with the truck just to see what's going on. Doesn't feel as cold right now, uh, but it is it is the same amount. Or same temperature, so but it just feels warmer. Maybe it's because the wind is less. All right, let's head out to the big pasture. I was right, it did catch something. It's got a mouse. Yeah, he's eating a mouse. He caught one. Good for you, bye, bud. Good for you. You go ahead, eat more of them mice, especially around the house. Yeah, I, I don't remember having any problems with mice inside my house ever never uh, ever since i moved in in 83 because i've always had cats around the house so that's why i keep them keep the mice under control all right let me check one more thing i just want to get a view of the looks like they tore up that bale a little bit but they're still eating on this bale from last week so that's good and there's that other heifer over there she's coming back around this side and the other cows over there. Hey, there's my shadow. And this kitty is crying for me. Oh, well. Yeah, I like having cats around, but only outside, not in the house. All right, let's go out to the big pasture with the truck.